Let's go back to sleep hygiene for a second. We yeah. talked about temperature. Um, yes. Do you have a, a room temp set? We typically talk about the mid 60s as an ideal room temp. Do you adhere to that? Yes. Mid 60s is terrific. And if people say, oh, this is just too cold, I say, well, what's too cold? And often they will say my feet. And then let's talk about light. Do we need to have it so pitch black you can't see your hand in front of your face? Mm -hmm. Do we need to block the moonlight? Um, how, how dark do we need it to be? You know, if you closed your eyes right now, you'd be able to tell that it's light in this room, mm -hmm. right? We can, we can sense light through our closed eyelids. What about blue light before bed? Mm. My new hypothesis has become it's not the blue light that is the problem. It's the stimulus <laughs> that often comes with the blue light. I think regardless of what color light you're getting your Instagram on, that's probably not helpful before you go to bed. And I just finished with a patient recently like this who found that using orange colored glasses, like I'm talking ugly motorcycle looking orange lenses, a handful of patients wearing these two hours before bed, it completely ameliorates their sleep onset insomnia such that they were able to almost immediately mm. quit Ambien. The, the beauty of these interventions is if you can isolate them to one change yep. at a time, you can be empirical about it. Yep. And something like wearing glasses is benign. I mean, <laughs> you're only out the money you spend on them. And if it works, <laughs> great. Yep. And if you really want to test it, take them off and see if your symptoms return. Exactly. All medications have circadian effects. All of them. Caffeine withdrawal is not something I want to deal with in my mm. clinic, and I don't think it's necessary. So I tell people, do not change how much coffee you're drinking. Put it all before 11. People like to fall asleep with podcasts on. Don't do that. Including this one, right? Right. Yeah. Well, this is an easy one to fall asleep too, but <laughs> I, 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 can... I don't know. I, I hope that people aren't falling asleep listening to this. But body awareness is, is, a, is, a, is, is a, a thing that you want to focus on. Is that counterproductive or is it productive? I don't think it really adds too, too much to CBTI. The effects with CBTI are pretty whopping. When it's done well, you know, 50 to 60% of people can get remission and 70% can get clinically meaningful improvement to their sleep. Of the 30% that do not, mm. why? When does the treatment fail? The treatment fails when people don't do it. 